Today we are going to discuss about the next part of quadratic equation. In the previous exercise we see that if we write this type equation then we are easily solved by middle term factor that means x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 that means x x minus 3 minus 2 x minus 3 equals to 0 so that means x minus 3 and x minus 2 equals to 0 so either x minus 3 equals to 0 that means x equals to 3 or x minus 2 equals to 0 that means x equals to 2 so we get two values here x equals to 3 and x equals to 2 by solving this quadratic equation now my question is this we can solve any equation by middle term factor no suppose I am writing 2x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0 is this equation can you solve by middle term factor or we can write x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 that can be solved by middle term factor some of the equations some of the quadratic equation we cannot solve by the middle term factor then we are introducing Sridhar Acharya formula now see that how the Sridhar Acharya formula introduced so we know that ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 this is the main equation of quadratic equation we can write from here x square plus b by a into x plus c by a equals to 0 now x square plus 2 into b by 2a into x plus b by 2a whole square minus b by 2a whole square plus c by a equals to 0. So we are introducing b by 2a here. Okay. So 2 into 2. 2 and 2 cancel. So b by a into x is there. And b by 2a introduces here for the square part. So now we can write here x plus b by 2a whole square equals to this two part in the right hand side. So you can write b square by 4 a square minus c by a equal to 4 a square that means b square minus 4 a c okay now this term is in square so you can take the square root so x plus b by 2a equals to plus minus root over b square minus 4 a c by 2a if i write x equals to b by 2a minus plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a that means this implies minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a so this is the equation of the Siddhar Acharya x equals to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a so from this formula we can solve any type of quadratic equation let's see now we are going to start our exercise 
exercise 5c so in 5c 2 is 2 see that 25x square plus 30x plus 7 equals to 0 so this is the equation given now write comparing this equation with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 we get a equals to 25 b equals to 30 c equals to 7 so now we can write by S Acharya's formula X equals to minus B plus minus root over B square minus 4AC by 2A. In next exercise, we will discuss about this b square minus 4ac, which is discriminant. Okay. In next exercise. So now put the value minus b, that is minus 30 plus minus. So b square, what is the b square here? 30 square, this is 900. Minus 4 into a into c. So 4 here given a is 25. That means 4 into 25, 100, 100 into 7, 700 by 2 into 25 okay so now we can write minus 30 plus minus root 200 by 50 so that means minus 30 plus minus 10 root 2 by 50 if we divide by 10 then we get minus 3 plus minus root 2 by 5, which is the answer. Okay, so x equals to minus 3 plus minus root 2 by 5. Note it down all the way. In next problem, 4 and 2, see that x plus 1 by x plus 3 equals to 3x plus 2 by 2x plus 3. Now cross multiplication x plus 1 2x plus 3 equals to 3x plus 2 x plus 3. So that means 2x square plus 2x plus 3x, 5x plus 3, 3x square, 2x plus 9x, 11x plus 6. Now we can write x square plus 6x plus 3 equals to 0. So this is the equation. You have to find the value of x now. So now, same thing you have to write comparing with a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0. We get a equals to 1, b equals to 6, c equals to 3. Now, by Siddhar Acharya, x equals to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac, that means 4 into 1 into 3 by 2 into a. 
that means minus 6 plus minus 24 by 2. So 24 means this is 2 root 6. So you can write here minus 6 plus minus 2 root 6 by 2. So that means minus 3 plus minus root 6. So this is the answer here. So x equals to minus 3 plus minus root 6. Next problem. In 6x2, see that x minus 1 by x equals to 3 given where x not equals to 0. We can write here x squared minus 1 equals to 3x. That means x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals to 0. In every sum, you have to write the comparing with the equation x squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. We get then write a equals to this, b equals to this, c equals to this. I am just writing here. But, but you have to write in all, every sum. Where a equals to 1, b equals to, b equals to minus 3, c equals to minus 1. So x equals to minus b, that means minus or minus 3, 3. Plus minus root over b square. B square means 9. 4 ac. That means plus 4. By 2 into 1. That means 3. Plus minus root 13 by 2. Okay. So what does this mean? The two roots are. You can write here. 3 plus root 13 by 2. And 3 minus root 13 by 2. Two. You can write in this process also. Here's the answer. Note it down a little bit. Next problem. Now, in next problem, see that you have to find up to the two decimal figure or three decimal figure you have to give them. So, for this type of sum, in ICSC, 3 marks or 4 marks compulsory coming. That means you get a sum of 3 or 4 marks confirmed from this exercise. Mind it. So, which type of sum are coming? These types of, that is you have to find up to the 2 decimal figure or 3 decimal figure. So, that means some root number is coming. So, where are you finding the root number? From the back of the book, see that some pages are there and there are some values are there. Square root values and some sine, tan, cos values. So, normal first column, first column gives the root value of the numbers. That means root 6. That means given root 36 given up to 100 is given over there so from there you can find the root value right now in exam in school i will provide that otherwise in board exam a logbook will be provided for this root purpose now see that in 82 x square plus 7x equals to 7. This is given. So that means x square plus 7x minus 7 equals to 0. Now you have to write the same word comparing with the equation x square plus bx plus c. Then we get a equals to 1, b equals to 7, c equals to minus 7. So by Sridharacharya formula, x equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac. That means b square means 49 minus 4ac that is minus 2 plus 28 by 2 into 1. 
okay that means minus 7 plus minus root 77 by 2 so what is the value of root 77 root 77 means from the back of the uh, book you can see that 8.775 so minus 7 plus minus 8.775 by 2 so that means you are taking the plus that means minus 7 plus 8.775 by 2 comma minus 7 minus 8.775 by 2 so now see that minus 7 this that means 1.775 by 2 so 1.775 by 2 means 0 0.89 okay and the next one minus 15.775 by 2 that means minus 7.89 so here the roots are 0 0.89 and minus 7.89 that is up to two decimal figure okay now next one it is 882 okay now in 9 year 1 see that 4x square minus 5x minus 3 equals to 0 so comparing with ax square plus bx plus c we can write a equals to 4 b equals to minus 5 and c equals to minus 3 so by using Sridharacharya formula we can write x equals to minus b that is minus into minus plus 5 plus minus root over b square minus 4ac that means minus 4 into 4 into minus 3 that means plus 3 by uh, 2 a that means 8 now 4 into 4 into 3 that means 48 I am writing here 48 directly regarding the next step so that means 5 plus minus root over 73 by 8 so root 73 that means 8.544 so so 5 plus minus 8.544 by 8 so now you are taking 5 plus 8.544 by 8 and 5 minus 8.544 by 8 that means 13.544 by 8 that means 1.69 and minus 3.544 that means 0. Point, sorry minus 0. Point double four. so these are the roots of this equation 1.69 and minus 0. Double four. next one now in number 11 see that 5x square minus 3x minus 4 equals to 0 same thing I have to write comparing this equation with x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then we get a equals to 5 b equals to minus 3 c equals to minus 4 so we can write by Siddharacharya's formula x equals to minus b that means write the form first of all then you are using the value okay so that is 3 plus minus b square that means 9 minus 4ac that means 4 into 5 into minus 4 that means um, 80 plus 80 okay by 2 into 5 okay so that means 3 
प्लस माइनस रूट एटी नाइन बाय टेन सो थ्री प्लस व्हाट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ़ रूट एटी नाइन यू कैन फाइंड फ्रॉम द बैक ऑफ़ द बुक सम पीएस आर देयर सो द वैल्यू इज़ नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री फोर सो नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री फोर बाय टेन कोमा थ्री माइनस नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री फोर by 10. So now see that 9 plus 3 that means 12 so 12.434 that means 1.243 okay and 6 so minus 6 4 uh, 6 point minus 6 point 434 by 10 that means 0 point 0 point minus here 0 0.643 so up to three decimal figure this is so you have to three decimal figure means after the decimal point three figures are there that is the mean of three decimal figure okay so three decimal figure means the after the decimal point three numbers are there two decimal figure means after the decimal point two numbers are there okay so these are the uh, problems normally are coming for three marks in the ICSC so be prepared for that and the rest of the sums are homework okay rest of the sums are homework for you practice it in home properly if any doubt you can ask me thank you take care bye bye